Hi guys, Harry here from TechMediaFusion.com. Thank you very much for joining me today. Um, I want to talk to you today about Hootsuite. Now, it's an application that I've been using over the last month and a half, but I'm sure you have already heard of it. But for those of you that aren't using it, I'm going to show you how I've been using it over that period of time and um, the effects that it's had on my website as well. Now, a very good friend of mine told me about this application about a year ago. His name's Dave, otherwise known as Lack78, has his own YouTube channel, has um, his own website called Computing Forever. I'll put some links in down below. If you don't already know who Dave is, you definitely want to check out his YouTube channel and the website, but in particular his YouTube channel. I think Dave possibly has one of the best YouTube channels, certainly in the tech genre, uh, on YouTube. That's, that's my opinion in any case. Some of the stuff that he pulls off on his channel is fantastic, and you want to go across and watch him. But anyway, Dave and I were talking about Hootsuite, and he was telling me how good it was, but at the time I kind of understood it to be a little bit like a, a jumped-up version of TweetDeck which I wasn't really into at the time. However, uh, like I say, over the last month and a half I've started using it and I'm going to show you now how I've been using it. Now, like I said at the beginning, there are many ways you can use this application. You can go really in depth. You can actually do spreadsheets with your application uh, articles in it and put it in there and all the rest of it. But this is a very simplified way that I'm going to show you. Now, as you can see here on this list, uh, I have different websites that I'm running. And I'm sure as you guys know that if you're running a blog or a website, you're going to have some sort of social networking uh, account attached to it. Now I'm talking about uh, my main site here, Tech Media Fusion. And as you can see here along the top, I've got Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Foursquare. I don't know why Hootsuite have um, actually included Foursquare in there, but you can use it if you want. Uh, Google Plus and Facebook page. So you have written an article on your website and now what you want to do is you want to schedule it to go out at different times of the day different days of the week or you know different times throughout the month you click on publisher here this will take you now this is all the different uh, articles that I have already scheduled to go out uh, today Monday and Tuesday you can see there all the different times but I actually prefer when it when I'm looking at when they're going out I don't mind looking at this view but if we go up here whenever I'm actually scheduling You've got a day view, a week view, and a month view. Now, I personally prefer using the week view. Uh, because you can see here, it gives you, it'll show you big white gaps and stuff like that. Or the, the yellow here attributes to the day that you're actually in. Uh, and everything else is white. But you, you'll be, you can visually see any gaps that you might need to fill with, a, with an article or something like that. So I just prefer using it. So say for instance we want an article to go out here at uh, just coming up to 7 o'clock on Monday evening. So if you just click in there, just like your calendar on any application that you use, any calendar application, you click on the space, it'll bring it up here. As you can see down here, it's brought up here, it's uh, Monday the 28th it's going to go out, it's going to go out at 6.45pm. Now if you want to, you can change the time, you can make it 6.50pm. Uh, or if you think to yourself, you know what, I don't want to go out on Monday, I want to go out on a Tuesday, click on the 29th, and that'll do it all for you, it'll change it all for you. So you want to go across to your website or your blog and you s copy the URL of the article that you're trying to reach out to people, and you paste it in here. So for now, I'm just going to put in the um, home page of Tech Media Fusion, click shrink, and that'll shrink it down, and then you want to put whatever you want in here, write an article. Um, so I'm just going to put something in. There we go. Now you come across here and this gives you a list of all the different um, accounts to, if you wanted to send it to. So you, or uh, the social networking site. So I'm because I'm concentrating on Tech Media Fusion, I'm going to send it to Twitter. And as I select Twitter, you'll see down at the bottom here, it get, tells me how many characters I have left in this particular message if I wanted to use. So I've got 59 characters left that I can use. Uh, go on down, you click on Facebook. Now, as you see here, it opens up a slightly different um, data application center here type of thing and it will tell you as you go across and you use your Facebook page and your Google Plus page and we'll add LinkedIn there as well 
Also down at the bottom here, you can see here with Facebook and LinkedIn, it tells you how many characters you have left as well that you can use. Um, but because I'm using my home page, there's no images coming up here, not yet anyway. But if you've just got a specific article and you've got images in that article, it will give you a list of the images here and you can select from whichever image you want to appear on your Facebook or your Google Plus account. So that's it, you've got it set up here as to where you want it to go out to. Uh, you check the link, you check all the things that you've written down. If you're just sending it out to Twitter uh, you, and you want to add an image onto that, you can do. You can select files from your hard drive or you can just drag and drop an image into this area. Uh, and then an image will go out to your Twitter account. So once you're ready, you click on schedule. And that's changed. So that's scheduled there to go out. Now if we go back to the, the list view. Okay, here we are. Down at the bottom here, you'll see here that it's got a little red 5 above it. And that's to let you know that it's not going... You see, all these other ones up here are going out to just Twitter. Whereas this one down here, when it's got this 5 above it, or however many different accounts you've added on, it lets you know that there's more than one social networking account that you're sending it out to. Uh, so that's kind of good when you're looking through it to make sure that you know which is going where. Now, that being said... <coughs> If you want to, if you realise you've made a mistake or something like that, you can edit it. Obviously, yes, I am a sad ass and I do need friends and that is true. But I don't want this going out to people that follow me. So if you click on the, the article that you've sent out, it'll let you know all the different sites that it's going out to. If you want to just simply edit it, then click on the edit. I want to delete it. I don't want it going out. So I'm just going to delete it, get rid of it. And that is that. And that is it guys, that's how I use Hootsuite and like I say, over the last month and a half it has been fantastic for me. You know, you can put out your articles as far in advance as you want, different times. For me, I normally tend to find that in and around this time here from about 2am to coming up to 5am, I get a lot of uh, American, you know, people that watch me or read my articles in America, they get to see all the links that I'm putting out here. Now like I said, there is a lot more detail that you can go into with Hootsuite, especially this analytics section. This will let you know how many clicks your individual links are getting, which link is rating the best, which time of the day that you're sending it out on is the best time of the day, you know, when it's getting the most. All these different things. From an SEO perspective, it's absolutely fantastic. You want to get into all these and have a look and you know go through it. Take your time and learn how to use the certainly the analytics section of it. Uh, to the best of your ability to give you the best information that you need to enhance your website or your blog. Anyway guys, that is it for me. Thank you very much for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Bye.